Jason Katz joins us now. Same subject, Jason. Will higher taxes derail this stock market? Well, good morning, Stuart. You know, frankly, it depends on where we land, right? I, I don't think 28% sure. is realistic. It's an opening salvo. I think we end at 25% for corporate taxes. And, and with respect to capital gains and dividends, I think we also land approximately 28%. And if you look back to other periods where we've seen capital gains go up, 2013, they went up, what, by 9%? The stock market was up nearly 30%. So I'm not Pollyannish here. I understand that there are long-term implications for raising taxes, but it's undeniable, as Stephen Moore just said, how strong this economy is going to be for the balance of this year, and earnings have been going through the roof. 80% of the companies that have yeah. reported thus far have beaten by 20% margin. So as I, as an investor, don't have anything to worry about so long as we're printing trillions, spending trillions, and profits are going up exponentially. I shouldn't worry, correct? I'm not so sure I'd worry in the short run in the next three months, but you'd have to be concerned looking out in the next six to 12 months. Between monetary and fiscal stimulus and the leverage that went along with it, we have an avalanche of liquidity, nearly $9 trillion. And that, coupled with trade tensions that are making inflationary pressures palpable, I think you're going to see some higher rates and a modicum of inflation. And these are all issues coupled with higher taxes we have to be mindful of. In the short run, however, I think you need to stay invested, keep for portfolios tilted towards cyclicality, and don't make any paradigm shift predicated on the first salvo in a tax negotiation. Okay, I take your advice, Jason Katz, and I'll abide by it. I'm not going to do anything in the immediate future. Sir. We'll see. Sit in your hands. <laughs> Jason, thanks very much indeed.